In Washington? Yeah. Oh, that's when like Paul George was like dancing on Kelly Oubre and he didn't like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I kind of respect it. And then awful execution down a stretch cost me money. For who? Second six. I took the Thunder minus three. Second six. They lost? Yeah. Eight game winning streak. Out of the fucking door. <laughs> Assholes. Scheduled. <laughs> Second six. Okay. Baritone. <laughs> Whenever I see Cap put the uh, the monkey gif on the timeline, where it's like throwing- Why well, I gotta be the monkey? Because it's a literal monkey. Look, like, you're trying to be problematic for some <laughs> 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 Shocker. <laughs> Second six. Second six. Welcome back to Out of Bounds. I'm Pierce Simpson. Now, last night in the association was rather special. James Harden went off for a historic triple-double. We'll talk about that later in the show, but of course, I'm joined here as always by Complex Sports Editor Adam Caporale. I see Adam with the fire sneakers on. Yeah, you Classic know, my turn right to wear there. the bread today. You, you know, we kind of have to, you know, yeah. go back and forth. So my get, turn today. I can dig it. Get what you got. Okay. We get, you know, Adidas. I got my, yeah, I got my Adidas shipment. You know, I see. <laughs> you know, when you get that shipment, you yeah. got to wear it out. You, you know, you <laughs> Adidas three straight days, baby. Lit. That's what happens when you're a former NBA All Pro. I know I say that every day, but I want the people to know your statistics and, you know, you I'm just like I'm just like, I'm, I, I, I like that you always remember what I am. Is that good or bad? Mike, okay. Going, all right. We're going to get to <laughs> What's you the sassiness all of the stuff? Like, what is <laughs> like, you know, that? That's like, one thing they don't lose. They haven't lost shit. <laughs> it's their hand, it's their handshake shit. Adam, like, I got to get that handshake. Yeah, I got to work that. That was pretty good. Uh, we're going to talk about later in the show, James Harden scoring 60 points. You scored 60 points once before in your heyday, so I want to know what that feeling is like. But, fellas, big, big injuries in the Eastern Conference that may shake up the playoff stand as Kevin Love has a displaced fracture in his left hand. He stated to miss six to eight weeks, and John Wall will miss about the same after getting a knee scope. He's had problems with this knee. I believe this is his left knee. Both players out. Question I have to both of you fellas, Gil, we'll start with you. Which injury impacts their team worse? Kevin Love being out, John Wall being out? Well, John Wall. Yeah, because it's the leader. Point yeah, I mean, yeah, he's the leader. He's the floor general. Um, they should have handled this as a game 10. You know, because uh, he hurt this in game He'd be 10. back by now, essentially. I know. Yeah. And, you know, it's just one of those things where they, you know, the teams want these guys to keep playing. And sometimes if you don't nip it in the bud early. Is it like that product that thing that you on. talk about where they want fans to come and see They want fans. Players? You know, if, if, you know, if John Wall's going to miss, you know, 20 games, you know, fans are like, oh, you know, this season's over with. Yeah. And then, you know, essentially you think the season's over with because if they go on this losing streak. But right now, you know, playoff breaches and Yeah. Because right now, they're they, they sitting fifth. Yeah, I mean, they're sitting fifth. Uh, but, but also, this is like knee surgery, what, like five for John Wall now? He's had these massive, like, issues. And you, a guy who's had a million knee issues, but th- how much is this going to affect him going down the road? See, this doesn't affect him. How, how so? Because he's a, he's a left-handed jumper. Oh, okay. So he jumps off his right leg. So he jumps off his right, and that's why he's, he always comes down. Yeah. So he's, he, he's really not explosive jumping off as a righty. Yeah. So, you know, the fact that he's getting surgery on his left knee is like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I, I love that. Silver I, don't line, jump, I, guess. I don't jump off that one. I love that sound effect. <laughs> so maybe we attribute his shaky play to start the season to the knee injury. Yeah, you know, it's, you know he probably was just playing just to – but that's, that's sad because he, he – Sad for everyone else because he he's an all-star. But I guess the good a good thing for him, he agreed to a hundred seventy seventy million dollar contract over four years earlier this uh well last July. So man, he's he's paid. He yeah, don't have to worry this, about it. I mean, this kills the Wizards. I mean, they've they've come to play against the better teams. We saw them win against the Thunder last night without John Wall. But like you know, they have downplayed or they've you know played down to the competition all season long, and they keep falling further and further back in the Eastern Conference standings, now down to fifth, which you mentioned. And we can, I think, definitively say this is probably the most disappointing team in the NBA this season. Like, do you expect the Wizards to be in the fifth, maybe sixth place this time of the year? But as an organization, does this take them out of the DeAndre Jordan sweepstakes? We've heard the rumblings and the rumors. If if John Wall's out too much. What do the Clippers want on the the Wizards roster? But the The Clippers have a guy that's a substantial offer. But you got to remember, it's not that the Clippers, they they do not want to trade DeAndre Jordan. They do not want to trade him. Why wouldn't they're they? Only wanted, they only want to – because there's a there's an offer on the table right now. There's an extension offer, and he hasn't taken it. Let's back up, back up, back yeah, up. Yeah, see, that's what people – there's got, an extension. <laughs> ESPN got Wolves. We got Gilbert Arenas. What there's do you know? There's an extension. Bomb? There's an extension on the table for him right now, and he hasn't taken it. He hasn't agreed. And you heard so the they're like, if he's not going to agree to it, we got to trade him. That's why he's – 
on the block because he hasn't signed that extension. Where'd you get this tea from? This hey, is, okay, this all right. Tea all right. Lags, well, bro. <laughs> but that's why that's why he hasn't been dealt because everyone's they like to sign that deal because you know because the deal is still on the table. Word of advice to the Clippers: If you do re-sign DeAndre in this offseason, don't do a jersey raising ceremony <laughs> like you did with Blake because that worked out spectacularly awful but, for you guys. But yeah, you know what's so funny right. with with John Wall with John Wall going out and if the if the Wizards slide, mm-hmm. Detroit. They could make the, a run. Detroit yeah. makes a run now that you got you got Blake, yeah. and you know one you know they're on, they're on the uphill. Detroit's only uphill. three games behind the Sixers for the final spot in the Eastern Conference in the loss column. So I mean you know if they get the they shit can, together, yeah, they can make they get a big push. Jackson back, you yeah. know deal with Blake and a better two two man tandem with Blake and Andre Drummond. Mm-hmm. We saw them do a number on the Cavs last night. Right. So yeah, I mean they could slide in very easy if they get the shit together. And Kevin Love hurt his hand against the Pistons, Pistons last night. And I guess that's how we feel about Kevin Love. We didn't even bring him up whatsoever in this conversation. I mean, because you're not really worried about Kevin Love. It's his hand. Yeah, but that hurts the Cavs' spacing. No, it doesn't. It's I mean, it helps their spacing, but it helps the Cavs. Cause some how of those help play- the Cavs? Because some of those players that's disgruntled yeah. gets to play. They get to fill in that void. They Ooh, get to- Isaiah Thomas, who says he's 75 to 80% of his, his regular self right now? Exactly. I mean, you, are you putting the interest no, in Thompson? I mean, I mean yeah, just, they, they, they get to play with the roster, tinkle with the roster a little bit more. You got to remember, this team has been tinkling all year long. That's why they're so inconsistent. Do you do you think that because Kevin Love is out, is there a rule where you can't trade injured players in the NBA? Nobody wants an injured player, but right, exactly. I mean, if it's it's his hand, so there's no right. serious. It's not injury. a knee issue. Does this right. shift the trade focus to Isaiah Thomas? Potentially being on the trading block. But again, who the I, hell I don't think Cleveland is going to – they're not going to trade anyone right now. There's no – one, there's no one valuable enough to be traded. And two is most of these guys are up anyway next year. So what do you care for? Huh? That's very true. I think you're wrong, though. I think losing Love, who's their second-best three-point shooter, definitely hurts their spacing and definitely makes them but even worse when, offensively. When, obviously. when I mean, has Love – Defensively, it's already yeah, a lot. Maybe Chan and Fry but I'm saying, that void. But I'm saying, when have they ever lost – Love and it was like, oh my God, they're tanking it. No, they just keep. Yeah, but they lost their their only other all star on the roster. Yes, an all star, but someone can fill his void. You sure about that? With the yeah, Channing Fry comes in, makes four threes a game. They're they're fine. All right, fine. (laughs) They're better defensively. We'll see. When he's never when he wasn't in. I think the last time we saw them without Kevin Love, they also had Kyrie Irving, and he's no longer there. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit different. Might be different. All right. So speaking of Kevin Love and replacements, everything on that, we have to talk about the All Star Game replacements for Team LeBron. Obviously, with Kevin Love, John Wall going down in boogie last week, which didn't even get a chance to talk about this week. Um, We have new guys into the fold. So. Everyone on Team LeBron are the ones that injured. <laughs> Boogie, Wall, Kevin Love. Um, so question Damn, you guys. that's a lot. <laughs> is, is Team LeBron cursed? I, it, something's up. Because this all happened in a week, right? Less than a week, maybe. Jeez. I think it's because the basketball gods are angry that the NBA didn't televise the All-Star Yeah, they're, like, they're taking it out on Team LeBron right now. But, you know, Team Steph was Wait, who do we, a lot of who trash about they win. They might now. Who do we replace? We p- replace Boogie? So we have who? two replacements. We have replacements of Boogie, which is Paul George. PG? And the replacement for John Wall was Andre Drummond. We're still waiting Bro. to hear back who's going to be replacement for Kevin Love. I sniff for Ben Simmons replacing him. I think Ben Simmons might replace. You say, uh, Kevin Love. Kevin Love? I think it might be no. Ben Simmons in the East. Who do you think it'll be? In the East? Who else is this going to be? Yeah. Well, all right. So let's let's ask you this question: How would you how would you figure out that replacement? No, you what, know, what process there, would you go about? There, there, there shouldn't be no. no. How much are you trying to bribe? But see, me? that's the bad part about the All Star about the selection is you you're cheating the fans and everyone who's looking at this. Wow. Okay, so when fans are voting, we know who's in first. We know who's in second in voting. We get to see it. This behind the closed doors where these coaches vote. See, they, these coaches don't vote, and it says, all right, you get two guards, a small forward, and, you know, you don't get that there. Just vote your top seven. Uh, yeah, I get that for the reserves, so, but for the replacement players, but no, Adam reserves, but I'm just saying, decision. But you got to go by the list. So that's what I'm saying. Because we don't know the numbers of these players getting voted in because it's the highest votes. So let's say Paul George was – sixth in voting, okay. but he was the fifth guard and got replaced by a small forward. We wouldn't know. Yeah. So that list should be that list should be exposed too to see. So when we know, all right, somebody went out, we know who's next yeah. because he has the next highest vote. You just can't pull players that you so want. So you hate the idea that Commissioner Silver is the one making these decisions? Yeah, because we don't know why you're making these decisions. So it, it'll stop players from throwing little emojis on it because <laughs> Let's say Jalen Brown, right? He's sitting here with his little, yeah, mm, yeah. Mm, you know, faces. 
Well, at the end of the day, if you look at the list and bitch, you're twelfth. <laughs> so you want? You more don't need no. You don't have no face. You want more transparency? You're, you're in this. You're in a sophomore game. Let it go. Why did Jalen Brown have to catch that straight? No, I'm like just that? saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, come on. We all know he's not an all star, but like, yeah. like Ben Simmons. We need to know if he's the next one or somebody else. Yeah. You just don't pull somebody out and just say, "Oh, this is him." Like, no. Nah, that's so you want so the replacements for the reserves. You want it to be done in what matter? What format would be okay with you? The voting. So when the voting, when all from, these, from fans. No, when the coaches vote, we should be able. We, we might not show the coaches' so names. Go, we want to see the. List. We want to see the how they got voted. Right. Who voted for? How many votes they got? Because I remember the year I got snubbed. It was basically me and Jason Kidd. Mm-hmm. And Jason Kidd came out public and said, "If I don't, if I, if I'm not the replacement, I'm not playing on the USA team." <laughs> He actually came out and said that. For the, wait, so he, he said if I'm not the replacement for the All-Star game, I'm yeah, not cause, playing in the Yeah, because um, Jermaine O'Neal got injured. What's this, 2008, 2007? 2005, 6. Okay. It was the 2005, 6, so it would have been my second All-Star. I was averaging 29. Yeah. He said, you know, I'm not going to play in the USA <laughs> game. So my, my, my owner went out and said, you better not fucking even think about trying that, David Stern. <laughs> don't, even, don't you yeah. even think about it. <laughs> we already know who's the All-Star here. And, and then they, they I would like to see it left up to the players because Porzingis had that great quote when they asked about who's an all-star. He's like, the players know. So why not let the players vote? No, because there's, be? if you're voting, if, if there was already a vote, if there was already a vote, you can't just pull somebody who's not voting. Like if, I'm, if I know the list and I'm next, if you know, somebody got hurt and I'm next and you, some, the, the, the players vote somebody else, that's fucked up. All well, right. Well, it's bullshit. Like, like it's it's a voting. You voted already. So when once this player is gone, the next person fills that void. The next person fills that void. I mean, but see, that's the problem with the the reserves that we don't know what is going on in the back. So you, they can just look at this list and say, "All right, seven guards are the top. We're not taking seven guards. We're gonna take four guards, and then we're gonna take the top three big men." Well, that's more than likely how it works. But yeah, but but, it, but they don't tell the coaches that the coaches is the top. You you vote your top seven. Listen, I, it obviously rigged some work. <laughs> rigged, just like the that motherfucker going in there shaking dice. Oh, all right, you guys so, are alive. But all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I win. So then, should we actually have the All Star draft like just before the game, like a real pickup game? No, players would be mad as shit. Why? Because I can't make no fucking plans. What do you mean? You can't make no plans. To make behind the scenes plans and hope it works out. But think about it, it's, it's, e- it's either All Star Weekend or vacation. Now, if you're in a bubble guy and you're like, okay, All Star, All Star, All Star. Oh, so and they're like, nah, <laughs> nah, I can't even go to vacation now. So here's the real question before we move on How many players would rather just go on vacation rather than go to the All Star game? And I'm talking like top tier <laughs> players. I'm talking like superstars. All of them. All of them. <laughs> really? So it's like All Stars is not even. All Star, I mean, All Star, like. Your first All Star is amazing. It's the most exciting thing that you know you. But you got to remember, think about the game. You're not playing hard enough because you don't want to get hurt. Because yeah. you got to remember these these guys are going into the second half where they have they have to really buckle down team wise, individually wise. So you don't really want to put any effort into the All Star. It's just a waste of you know I got, you got I'm getting dragged here and there and there and there. I want to be with my family. I want to rest up and get ready for the second half. I see that small market guy that probably won't make another All Star game. But that's what I'm saying. For if if, if yeah. it's your first All Star, trust me, you're excited to be. But there. I also think if you're going to Los Angeles where the game is this year, you both be psyched for that. Yeah. Let me oh. see Rihanna courtside. I'm jacking up everything. But that's what I'm saying. But no, but <laughs> you're going to Charlotte, gotta, or Minneapolis. You got to remember, this is the this is your only break in the season. So most yeah, players want to you got They give an NBA player yeah, a longer, longer break. Time, yeah. So it's not like you're playing up till Thursday and you have four days off and you're playing again Tuesday. Now guys have a week off. Yeah. But I'm just saying, so that week off is like, yes, I can go to Cabo. Yeah, what but LeBron week? can come to L.A. <laughs> in and live case, in his what, house. Two, uh, yeah, they don't really want to live in his house. <laughs> Wait, what? You want to you wanna go on vacation with your kids and Listen, enjoy. L.A. is a massive vacation compared to Cleveland right now. So. I mean, but think about it. His kids are in school. Yeah. So that means he has to uproot the kids so they can come to the game. They're going to be missing days in school. Like, this is real, this is real life. This is not some fucking I'm single. This is, this is not I'm single and I'm coming to L.A. to play with girls. I love how Gilbert put on a responsible hat real yeah, quick. Yeah, no, but that's... My kids are in school. But, I can't but, take no, but, but that's what you have to that's think about, though. Yeah. 
It's like, is, is Savannah going to stay home with the kids, or we're just going to say, are they going to miss these three days of school and the come? Fans don't want to hear this from the whiny million. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Nobody, but that's what I said. No one wants to hear it. Did you see? Did you see the bounce pass I had? Where I was like, you said Cabo. I said you be a tootsie. So <laughs> you see, I didn't hear that one. <laughs> now, why James Harden's performance last night was pretty remarkable. He has a big time matchup this weekend in Cleveland as the Rockets will take on the Cavaliers, and we're going to preview that matchup within play. Fellas, an historic triple-double last night for James Harden. 60 points, I don't believe 30 shots, only seven healthy players played. They take on the Cavaliers this weekend. Considering how the Cavaliers have played defense uh, in recent weeks, this matchup on ABC primetime. Woo! James Harden might score 8,000 points in this game. By take himself. the over. <laughs> whatever, whatever Vegas puts out, just take the over and pound it. Now, before we get deep into the Cleveland and Houston matchup. Yeah, don't, no, no, look, don't, look, 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 look. I love and play yeah. because I'm 3-0. Okay. I'm 3 and 0. Is he 3 and 0? I'm on a penalty, and, and, and I know I'm about to be 4 and 0. Good, you're taking the Rockets? <laughs> no, I'm taking Cleveland. The, Cleveland. The way, the way they're playing defense? Whoa, 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 whoa. They've only lost one game at home since November. It's in Cleveland. I'm taking Cleveland. Look, look how you make James, it. James Harden had 60. Triple double. 10 and 10. Highest triple double scoring output ever in NBA. Amazing. Yes. Yeah. Usually, that, usually that's, that next game. And that next game is usually not – it's not that spectacular. They have one more game, though, before they go to Cleveland. Yeah, they, they, they have they, San they, Antonio they, on Thursday night. Ooh! Ooh! And can I, can I say something for the, for the, for the fans? I'm about to be 4-0. He said he's 3-0 and with in play. I believe this is our third segment, so he's making up stats on the fly. You yeah, this is our third it. segment. I'm winning this one. Oh, you're counting you it already? I already counted the win because yeah, I, I know mine. you're going with uh, Rockets. Actually, technically, let me back you up for one second. You said the Warriors are going to blow out the Celtics last week. No, but what I picked, happened? But I picked okay. the Warriors, though. Yeah, no, you, but you called a blowout. <laughs> You call it blowouts. As he went. They blew him out. Oh, so yeah, what? Like, in your opinion? Yeah, in your, when, yeah. Steph had 50, right? At like 49, maybe. 47, no, he had 50. Yeah. Were you rounding it up? <laughs> rounded, <laughs> rounded up. Larry had 30, 35. Now, yeah. <laughs> now, mind you, you, it picked, was a blowout. <laughs> you picked the Cavaliers. We talked about James Harden having a 60-point triple-double. I believe he had 53 in a triple-double earlier this season against Portland. The Cavaliers have the worst defensive rating in the NBA with 109.8. Yeah. They gave up 148 to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Yeah, at home last they got, But those, the, the OKC got three legit scores. You know, Harden is Harden. Is Harden. <laughs> he's going to cook anybody. He's going to cook. I mean, he's going to cook. Put you him in a stir fry. What's so funny is you can't, you can't guard. You're not going to stop Harden. You just hope to contain him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, with LeBron being there, he's going to take the challenge. But if Chris Paul comes back in the lineup, Clint Capella, those three of them, when they play together, gonna, are undefeated. I mean, or essentially but, basically undefeated. Yeah. And also, you talk about the Cavs. So who are you going with? I'm taking the I'm taking the Rockets. Yeah. Cavs are last in defensive defensive efficiency, <laughs> second to last in opponents' points via the three pointer, and 27th in opponents' field goal. He jacked up. He read it. He really want to read them stats so bad to make him to it's convince. The, yeah, but it's the it's truth. To convince himself it's the, the truth. Cavs are a terrible defensive team. And with Kevin Love, not at home. They, they, gave, lost, up they gave up 148 points to the Thunder last week. Oh, yeah, that's the, the, two losses. There's two <laughs> losses. But, I mean, come on, two losses since November. Do you want to change losses, pick? Two losses since November. Who's guarding James Harden? Great. Who's guarding James Harden? I'm going with Gilbert. The Who, who's Gil. guarding James Harden? LeBron. Gil. Who's guarding James Harden? D-Wade. <laughs> it don't matter. Yeah, 45. Teams run layup lines on the Cavaliers. 1,000%. On the road, lines. on the road, they do. You just, said James, you just said Dwayne Wade, and I got immense respect for Dwayne Wade. Future Hall of Favor. But he's not guarding James Harden ISO one-on-one. And who won the first matchup? Huh? Who won the first matchup? Where was the first matchup at? First matchup was in November back in Houston. We wasn't in play at that moment. <laughs> hey. We in play now. That's, so, therefore, that's I'm good. going with Cleveland. That's Four-point Houston victory first time around without Chris Paul. Cleveland. Listen. Rockets in the over. Rockets, Cavaliers, this weekend, this Saturday. I'm going 3-0, babe. I'm going 3-0. He, he, he's, I'm going 3-0. He's not going 3-0. Okay. You know how he's going? You know what? He's going to say he's going 3-0. Oh, Let cool. Tom Brady win this weekend in the Patriots. He's like, see, I told you, I was 3-0. <laughs> this is what happens. I'm 3-0. Right. Right. So he hedges his bets all the time. Now, we mentioned LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron had an interesting comment prior to their game against the Detroit Pistons where he talked about the newly acquired Piston, Blake Griffin, and how loyalty sometimes shifts in sports and the perspective between fans and players. His quote was, when a player gets traded, it's – they was doing what's best for the franchise, but when a player decides to leave, it's he's not loyal. He's a snake. He's not committed. 
It's just that narrative of how it goes. So I'm definitely aware. I know that firsthand. Obviously, LeBron knows what it feels like to leave a franchise. He's done it twice in his career, first leaving the Cleveland Cavaliers, then the Miami Heat in 2014, I believe. I feel like he has a strong point because of the hypocrisy that fans may have. Gil, do you feel the same way? I've said it all year. That <laughs> if that owner upstairs is not building to win, mm-hmm. they blame you. 1,000%. Right? They blame 1, you. You're not good enough and blah, blah, blah. Then eventually they, 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 they trade you up out of there. Yeah. If you decide to go actually and take your career in your own hand and go out and win a champ and try to win a championship, yeah. <laughs> you're not a competitor. You're a, you know, it's one of those. So it's like the media has done a great job to isolate the players from the owners. Yeah. When they don't realize they're just businessmen. They're not fans. They don't have these guys don't know their team. They don't know the fucking players on their team. Yeah. I mean, you, you rarely have, you know, the, the Mark Cubans who actually enjoy the sport. But for the most part, these are businessmen who own these teams. So the players they acquire, yeah. they don't really have no value. It's it, does he sell tickets or doesn't he? Yeah. Like like look at look at some of the franchises that refuse to play players. Just con- continue to have a, a payroll that's at the salary floor. Collect the TV revenue dollars. Don't care if they really sell out the arena. Go from there. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous sometimes. LeBron is a million percent right. Yeah. Um, fans, I don't know why they can't grasp this, but like the ability for a player to go out and get whatever deal is best for them, why would you begrudge that? Yeah. Put yourself in this situation. If another job offers you extra money, you're not going to take that job? Exactly. Hell no. But they already- so I, don't, I don't get the, the hypocrisy in society in general. I just yeah. don't because understand. It, because it's the media. The media, they, they're, they're trying to value what the past Right. Jordan never left. Magic never left. They, they didn't have to. Because Jordan got paid $30 million. Exactly. For the yeah. But, but they, were, they were in cities where players wanted to come. Like, come on, no one's going to Milwaukee. Yeah. No, 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 one's, no one's going to certain cities. It's just not going to happen. So unless you trade for those guys, those guys, like, like Detroit. Yeah. Like, Blake going to Detroit was a trade. He was not going to get no, up. No, he's and never say, going to go there. Hey, y'all, I'm going to uh, take my talents <laughs> <laughs> to Detroit Pistons. So you got those teams that's out there that just says, eh, I'm not going to get anybody. I'm just going to, this is just the business thing. Like, let's, if we had to say who's had the most guard talent in the NBA in the last seven years, can we all agree that it's OKC? They just might, from top to bottom, might be just talent. Period. Yeah, the, the guys who have come and come and come, who's, left, who's like so when you when, so, yeah. so when you when you say hmm, we're building this team for the future, and then when you look at them in the last six years, and you say you had James Harden, KD, Russ, you got PG, you got Melos came through there, you have Obaka, you have Victor. You're like you, you count Melo? Yeah, I, I, said, oh, yeah. I, said, I said damn, you had the most talent. NBA-wise, that's ran through that city alone. Yeah, through trades through, or drafting. So yeah, through trades and drafting, you've you've had the the most guard. Talent. I mean, look at LeBron's newly acquired teammate Isaiah Thomas. He literally got injured as a member of the Celtics. Continued to play through that injury as a member of the Celtics. That whole training and medical staff got fired in the offseason that people don't really talk about. Obviously, they misdiagnosed him. He played in the playoffs a couple of days after his sister tragically passed away. And what Danny Age do this offseason? Hey, uh, I traded you to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Like, there's no loyalty. There, there's, there's, no, there's, loyalty. No, there's, no loyal, there's no loyalty in it's, – it's either I'm going to get fired for drafting you or I'm going to trade you <laughs> and make up the mistake. That's, that's, that's what it is. Like, the only – I know I'm – I'm tied to Otis Smith, but that was loyalty in, in Orlando. When Dwight wanted out, mm-hmm. um, they were firing. They were trying to fire Stan. So, you know, <laughs> Otis said, if you fire Stan, I'm leaving because it's not his fault. So I'm going to resign if you fire Stan. They, they fire Stan, thought Otis was bluffing. Otis retired. He left. That's now you, and, but now you see why Stan and Otis are back together in Detroit. What's, what's That's funny. loyalty right there. Well, yeah, and what's funny about that is that only works in, like, the NBA. Go anywhere else and be like, I'm quitting if you fire me. Like, all right, well, I'll find two more people to fill your spot. Now, what, did Jamila and uh, – what's the name, try it? Uh, Jamel Hill and Michael Smith. Yeah, well, they, Michael, when Mike's she was – Mike's staying on yeah. Sports on Air. Yeah. was going on undefeated. Yeah, but when she kind of got suspended and yeah, they tried to pull it. in somebody else, yeah, he was yeah. like, I'm not going to go on. But, again, there's loyalty the there. But, I mean, for the most part, it's a business. So – so if Cap if Cap gets potentially let go, you leaving too? 
<laughs> what the money is like? <laughs> <laughs> like his pay also? No loyalty on this. No loyalty and out of mind. <laughs> All right, real quick, some Super Bowl talk before we get out of here. Tom Brady revealed his playlist uh, yesterday talking to the media, and I think some of the selections may surprise you, may offend you. Uh, or may, you know, you may be cool with, but uh, Tom was asked a question about meditation and, quote, centering himself on Tuesday, and Brady said that music often helps him, especially on his ride to and from the stadium. And Brady revealed his top five uh, artists, if you will, that he listens to. One, Jay-Z. Two, Kendrick Lamar. Okay. And then this is where it gets a little problematic for us. (laughs) Next, we're going to go with Coldplay, which that gets a hand wave. YouTube gets a hand wave. And Pearl Jam, which being a 90s baby as I am, that's fine, but... Those, those five artists right there, Jay-Z, Coldplay, U2, Pearl Jam, and Kendrick Lamar, what do we make of Tom Brady's playlist? It's centered. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's... Yeah. It's centered. It's, 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 it's who he is. Pretty much. Someone who doesn't go up, someone who doesn't go down. He's right in the middle. And this, if you, especially on the rap side, Jay-Z is a mellow guy, yeah. Kendrick's a mellow guy. And I'm, I'm pretty sure. So overall, you Coldplay, play YouTube is. See, I did I say YouTube? YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but about what you expected from Tom Brady, because he does come yes. out to Jay Z's public yeah. service announcement. You know, but I feel like he got stadium. He, oh, he does. Yeah. 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 Let you reintroduce myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, yo, I like that. A part of me feels like he got some ratchet stuff on there he just didn't want to say out loud. He got some Kodak Black on there nah. somewhere deep in his iPad. You never know. You never know. He, got, he, he listens to greatness. Like if you ask if you ask Tiger Wood what his is, I guarantee it's around the same. So no Level. Migos culture too on his place. No, nah, it won't be. <laughs> might, might not be. Hell no. Nah. Okay. That's for that's for that's for people who like to get up. Like he wants to be. Ethan. He wants to be centered. Like you can say he's a quarterback. He wants to be centered. The, the wide receivers is listening to Kodak Black. Kodak Black. Very, Kodak Kodak Black. Black. Yeah. Yeah. Very different than Gronk's playlist. Yeah. Probably every yeah. single frat House music. anthem that you. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But because he wants to get hype, so I guarantee you listen to just ratchet. Yeah. Like, have y'all heard the story of like Gronkowski making Rick oh. Jones throw up? Have y'all heard that story? Oh, it's amazing. I got to tell y'all that. You yeah. want to work out? No, they were like partying after Super Bowl or something like that. <laughs> Gronk's a wild Actually, boy. He's from Arizona, baby. <laughs> you know who you know Gronk's favorite artist is now? Who? Six Nine. Of course. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> of yeah. course. Of that course. Makes, that makes a lot of sense. Of course. Uh, fellas, we learn a lot each and every day on Out of Bounds. We learn that, Gilbert, you might not leave if one of us leaves. I'm not leaving. Uh, <laughs> I'll be right here. Listen, I, I'm with it. I'm with it. Appreciate <laughs> the loyalty. Yeah, I know. It's like no loyalty here on Out of Bounds. Well, we got loyalty. We, we good. We good. Uh, I'm going to call you. We good. Hey, we, I'm going to call you. Reach the cross. Listen, that wraps up the latest edition of Out of Bounds. We'll see you tomorrow for Adam Caporell, Mr. Gibbard Arenas. I'm Pierce Simpson. See you soon. Their home record is amazing. They have play, they play no defense whatsoever. But their home record is amazing, though. I don't right, care what, what you're what talking about. What did about. you listen to going to the stadium back in your day? Wayne, that was Weezy's peak. Uh, no, Jay-Z. It was Jay-Z, Dope. Pac, Biggie. Okay. Legends. That's commendable. I like it. I like it. That's what I said. I didn't, I didn't listen to the the. Is it the same stuff every single, like, trip, though? Or yep. Switch? Okay. I didn't switch a fucking song. He probably had some Keisha. Uh, it was the funniest. <laughs> you had some Keisha Cole? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, same thing. He's the Oakland. Yeah, he yeah, had some Keisha Cole. No, what's so funny is, like, like, in the morning, it's soft music. Yeah. And then, and then, so on the ride, on the ride there, it was soft music. Yeah. Like R&B type. And then the locker room. And then the locker up. room. See, I've know, heard a lot of But then would you have to come down and drive home? Yeah, soft music. So the soft music was... It was yeah.